Hey everybody, it's Val of Valtopia, and I'm here today to do our reveal. I posted on all the places. Um, you can find me on High Vibe Network, on uh, Telegram, on Facebook, on Instagram, on YouTube, on my website. And today, uh, yesterday, I posted a whole spread at my table here. And um, I asked if you want to choose one, two, or three. And now I'm going to go through what I pulled. And so um, we've kind of moved on from the energy of this reading. But I think it's really, it'll be really interesting to see how you resonate with the choice you made. So take a deep breath right now. And choose one, two, or three. Now I did it before I pulled the cards. And I picked two. So for whatever that's worth, you can keep that in mind. So if you pulled, if you chose option number one, the first card that came up from the, the compass deck was entrepreneurship. Are you an entrepreneur? Are you, have you thought about it? Have you been in it for years like me? Years, I started as a teenager selling things. And I think one of the ways that we can establish freedom and have more control, more freedom and flow in our daily process so that we can listen to divine intuition and we can tune into our own needs for our physical body to transcend slave-like paradigms that we've gotten used to is to have your own business. Um, it's not easy. It's, it's definitely a process. There's a lot to learn. There's so much to learn and it definitely puts you out of your comfort zone. And it also really shows you things about yourself that you may never meet if you didn't try to be an entrepreneur. I call my clients soulpreneurs because we are really heart-centered and um, we're focused on our soul growth and we allow ourselves to do that through our business. And the old paradigm has us feeling like slaves in so many ways and, and that includes spirituality. Like we're supposed to just give ourselves freely and never ask for any money. But the truth is if you don't have what you need to take care for your base, own basic needs, uh, you can't really serve others. If your cup is empty, you don't have a drop to give somebody else. So learning how to have a fair energy exchange into your entrepreneurship and um, how to nurture yourself and share yourself in a way that allows you and your clients to thrive is an amazing process of transformation. And I think it's really what our new paradigm is all about. So those are my thoughts on entrepreneurship. Ship, I would love to hear what, how that resonates for you. Additional cards that go with choice number one is out of my fuck yeah deck. Fuck yeah. It's the hermit card. Have you been alone? Have you felt lonely being an entrepreneur? I know I have. Oh my God. I've spent so many days alone in my beautiful studio here. Um, wondering if I'm doing the right thing in terms of day to day. You know, when you go from the corporate cubicle to being in your own time, it's a trip to figure out how to spend your time. And, you know, one of the best things I learned to do, the first thing that was really helpful was getting um, old control mechanisms and voices, the old paradigm out of my head. That includes my beautiful, I love my parents, but they, <laughs> they had kind of overridden my own thought and feeling process and getting them out of my head and learning to follow my own impulses and trust myself. That's, that's been a huge thing. So sometimes you do have to be in your own energy and allow yourself to kind of close off what's out there so that you can feel yourself, become fully aware of yourself, and really establish um, the energy and the identity that goes with the new paradigm that you're bringing through you, through your beautiful body. So don't be afraid to be alone um, and, and really tune into yourself. And a lot of what I offer and guide my clients through is that process, the process of surrendering, surrendering to your own heart, to your own intuition, to the divine directives, to living a different experience than you've ever lived before that can feel really scary, but is life-changing for all of us. Trust me, when you shift yourself, you shift it for your people too, your family, your community. So this is the, um, the tarotical, tarotical, I am not a tarot expert, but I, I have this educational deck and I like to pull it in because it's really cool. It has the, um, the, the signs, sun signs, I mean the sun signs, the astrological signs and a description. And so we got the reverse four of swords. For those of you that are tarot experts, don't be irritated by my explanation of what I see here, but I like to use this deck. It always brings up the pain points 
and shows you where you, you might have hidden subconscious energy. And that's because that's what I work with. So I'm kind of seeing it through that lens of like, huh, what's lurking beneath the surface that hasn't been shown that's actually really influencing your experience. So the card says restlessness, burnout, stress, exhaustion, and stagnation. And so we've got some Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, air energy. So the reverse of that was relaxation, meditation, rest, contemplation, exactly what I was just saying. If you're feeling stressed or burnt out and questioning yourself, go within, take a hot salt bath, go to the beach and walk, or do jumping on your trampoline, or do some push-ups. Like you could do push-ups in your bathroom on a countertop anywhere. You know, I, I, I'm, I'm, I have some painful parts in my body, so I don't just do them straight on the floor. I do them on countertops and I'm ripped from it. So <laughs> find just the simplest things. Breath work, I have free breath work on my website. Like do the things that ah, bring you present in your body so you can shift your energy vibration so that you have a different level of perspective and connection to everything around you and you're gonna get a different result. If you're stuck in the old identity, stuck in the old energy, if you're hanging around just thinking that's the limit, well, that's what that's what you're gonna get. And um, I think this was probably one of the hardest things for me to learn and understand because I wasn't raised that way and it's like sounds like crazy, but when you really let yourself explore it day after day, month after month, year after year, you realize, oh my God, I really am the miracle. I'm the one setting in motion everything that's happening around me. So let me know how that you know resonates for you. Um, I have some crystals here and I was just thinking I'd show them, but uh, I don't know exactly what they all are. So I, I'm just gonna leave that for now. <laughs> Maybe I'll get a new, some new crystals or find people to help me tell me what I got here. I know some of them, but I don't know all of them. So, all right, we're gonna go to choice number two now. If you chose choice number two, which I did, the compass deck from Ambrinette, um, is the find faith card, find faith. Let me read this to you. Uh, Trust in the universe and your guides. You are always fully supported. Know that the events surrounding you right now are happening for a reason, for your highest good. So we're in a process of gardening. We're intending to our garden. We, our blossoms may not be fully like coming out yet, but we definitely planted some seeds. What seeds did you plant? Where have you been showing up consistently? Where have you let yourself transform and change and taken up good habits and released bad ones and released people from your life that, um, that weren't good for you and hold habits and ways of speaking to yourself. All these little things add up to so much. And this is where you find faith. This is how you stay in a higher vibration or come into a better a state of gratitude and appreciation for who you are and what's coming through for you. And, um, so where can you find faith? How do you find faith? For me, breath, daily breath work is so powerful. There's some days where, um, like the other day, I had to take my kids to school and then I would go to work. And then by the midday, I felt really a weird energy and, and I, I felt really heavy and I, I wasn't gonna do my breath work. I'm like, what am I doing? And then when I finally did the breath work, I had a big release. I had some tears come forward and I didn't even know that was there. I just felt kind of irritated. It wasn't even something I noticed. But when I actually sat down, got quiet, you know, I've invested in this amazing breathwork course. So there's so many options for me and I picked one that resonated that day and it really hit the point. And after I did, I did three breathworks. And after that, it was about 30, 45 minutes of spending some time my whole energy shifted. Everything that was kind of starting to slam me and feel weird, um, it just dissipated. It just dissipated and, and I began to really find the faith, the feel the faith. So what can you do to nourish your body, ground and center and, and let go of what's heavy and what isn't true anymore so that you make space for the new stuff that's coming in. Another way to find the faith and to nurture and yourself is to detach, detach from what isn't true detach from people places and things that aren't aligned for you and that can be one of the hardest things especially if you're first coming out of the old paradigm into a new paradigm um it can really trigger your feelings of safety or being abandoned or whatever your personal pattern or habit is um it can really tweak those so that's where it's really good to have a supportive community like we have here where people have gone through these things over years some of us have been going through this stuff for years 
and we may um, have tidbits of wisdom and huge support for you just by saying one thing. So remember, um, you know, your story is the answer to someone's prayer. So that's why we share ourselves in the spiritual community. We like to, um, the entrepreneur community, because somebody's watching you and, and learning from your trials and your wins and your losses. And everybody has wins and everybody has losses. So nobody's immune to um, growing and growth can be messy and uh, requires, you know, rearrangement. So let yourself detach from what isn't true. So for the tarot card, we've got the reverse 10 of cups. So this is domestic strife, broken home, shattered dreams. That was my story. I was in a terrible marriage, um, a terrible marriage. It was really misaligned for both of us. We both wanted our children. We worked really hard. We even tried to make it work. And when it comes down to it, like I was on a different path than what, it, you know, so we, we had to, we had to separate and now we take care of our kids really well and it's relatively peaceful. But at the time it was just really devastating to go through that for everybody, for the kids, for everybody. But now we're in this new paradigm. We're in a different timeline where we're no longer together, but we take care of our children and our kids understand us individually in our individual homes. And those kind of changes can happen. And at the moment you're going through it, whoo. You do have to detach. You do have to find the faith and you have to let yourself believe. So I'm on a new level where I'm having to believe again and again in a fresh paradigm and new, more expanded standards for myself and allowing myself to explore and take leaps where I feel like, oh, this is kind of scary. This is scary, but, but trusting myself and knowing what's good or not good. And if we're to flip that card to what it is, it's blessings, divine love, family, harmony, alignment, bliss. So when we find the faith and we detach from what isn't true, we're coming into our bliss and our faith. So that is card number two. I'm wondering how this is going for you. Let me know. All right. So if you pick card number three, you picked the personal growth card. I love this reading. Like you could mix and match all of it. It all goes together so well. And it's everything that I love to talk about. So you are growing and expanding as a human being. The universe applauds your focus and attention to your ascension. Continue to do the things that feel uncomfortable and push you outside of your comfort zone. See, that's where the true magic for the soul happens. We came to grow. We came to change the story because the story we know, the box that we started in is not there and we get to break out of it. So how do you do that? Surrender. And I know I mentioned that earlier. Surrender. Surrender. Surrender is about letting go and detaching and knowing that in this moment, you may not know the answer, but you found the faith and you have made your choice. And so you're going to let go and allow, you're going to let go and allow maybe what you've never experienced before. How can you sit there and decide how it's going to be if you've not experienced it? The best you can do is to let yourself let go of what you don't want and be a sort of state of mush and, um, <laughs> like a clean blank slate let yourself be kind of like i don't know yet but this is what i've decided and this is how it's going to be and this or better and really um concentrate on the or better because what i've learned over the years is you don't know how good it can get you just don't because you're in that box of whatever you've been and when you change and grow you can just look back and go i can't believe i thought that was okay or good enough for me wow so surrendering for me has been, um, there's times when I've had to go and lie under the covers because I feel cold and I feel so tired because the frequency is coming through my body and it's causing everything in me to change at a cellular level. And that can feel overwhelming and it can bring up your old pain because you're releasing the old pain to make way for what's new and fresh for you, what hasn't happened yet. So don't be alarmed if when you ask for what you want and you surrender, there's this point, and most of you probably know this already, but it's a refresher. There's a point where you gotta go through the release or the detach or the, the void where you feel kind of weird and off. So what's the best thing you can do? Nourish your vessel, your body, take the bath, take the hot salt bath with the essential oils and just let yourself meditate, do the fitness, um, eat the, drink the water, eat the nourishing food. 
join the circle that lets you talk about what's coming. Let yourself be in a state of, de you know, de what's the word I'm looking for? Deconstruction and a recalibration to something you've never been before. And so the tarot card that came up for this is the reverse page of cups. And that trauma or trigger or, you know, sabotage or resistance is emotional immaturity, creative blocks and insecurity. And that is the biggest thing stopping so many of us, everybody does this, for personal growth is not surrendering to what you don't know and giving yourself space and time to let something new happen because you trying to your mind is trying to keep you safe and keep you doing what you've already known and just think about it when you go to grow like how many times do you distract yourself from doing the like writer's block right like you're gonna eat some more m m's <laughs> you can smoke another cigarette or whatever you're gonna you're gonna go clean a room instead of doing the painting. Like there's all these little things that you'll just do to keep busy because you don't wanna do it. And that's the biggest way to sabotage your growth is to just be so busy doing shit that you're not actually letting yourself be still and change. Integration is a whole thing. If, you're, if you've done a big ceremony and let all this frequency come in and we just went through a bunch of ceremonies with all these solar flares and transits, and, and your body is changing cellularly. If you don't stop and sleep and rest and take the bath and let yourself incorporate these new frequencies, it can pass you by. I know I've done it. I've done it. I've paid money for beautiful sessions and gotten so lit up and then gone right back to the companion that I had at the time that would then burst my bubble and bring me right back down to where I was. I would do it over and over again because I was afraid to go big. I was afraid to glow up. You don't let yourself do that to yourself. So the easiest way to do that is to be really intentional and conscious about the space in between when you set your decision and you, and you decide to surrender and have the growth. So what's the reverse of this? Happy surprise, dreamer, sensitivity, intuitive message. Give yourself the space and the love to allow personal growth and to have those happy surprises come through. I love this. I would love to hear how this resonates for you. And there's a couple other cards that we had come through. The final card in the compass deck was feel joy. Feel joy. If it's a simple pleasure that brings you to that joy, great. Um, and then we've got this, um, the search, feeling lost, confused, and lonely. You might feel that way. Like I did the other day. Actually, I think when I pulled this, these cards and then I did my breath work. And that's when I got my intuitive communication coming through. Um, silent whispers of the heart. How can you hear the silent whispers of your heart if you're so busy doing shit you don't even listen? How can you? Huh? All right. I loved this so much. Um, I'll do it again when it feels right. I don't want to force it. Um, I'm already doing the daily fuck yeah. If you haven't caught those yet, you can ca catch them on, at Valtopia all over every social media. And, um, you know, I do like a, a, a little reading in a minute every day. I can keep up with the minute and I love it. It brings me a lot of joy and pleasure. I love it when you comment and share how it resonated or didn't for you. Um, I love it when you come and join my community uh, on Telegram or on my website or whatever. And, um... And, and I'll do another one of these readings. Please let me know how this goes for you. And um, looking forward to the next one. Love your frequency. You're the miracle. See you next time.